Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I thought I would come on today and um, do a bingo card, because I haven't done a bingo card in a super long time. So, I found I had this one and one more, so I'm kind of, uh, I don't want to get rid of them, because I don't know if I'll be able to find them again. Anyway, um, I already decoupaged some napkin on here. And I just use this napkin, and this is a napkin that Denise, my friend Denise, sent me. Hi, Denise. Um, so I, I'm not sure where she got it, so I apologize for that. But, you know, anything that you can find at the dollar store or wherever that maybe has some design on it. Or you can even use um, tissue paper, like pattern paper, this kind of thing, which I may still put a piece of this up here. So, yeah, but I put this on. This is a piece of paper that I don't even know why I put this on here, but I took my little punch, and I punched two holes because I was just testing distance and all that, and I had stamped something on here to make sure the stamp was going okay, and then I just kind of threw it over on my desk, and I just found it. <laughs> and so I stuck, stuck it on there because I thought it looked kind of cool. But anyway, um, then I, this is a piece of um, Rachel's paper that I ripped off. Rachel at Roxy Creations that I ripped off of um, before I made that card the other day. I took that off, so I just thought it looked kind of cool there. And then I thought I could put this as a pocket on there. And um, this is from Denise again. And so I know this, I think this is upside down, but I really like it this direction, so I think that's what I'm going to go with because these seem to stay, it's not like they're flopping over or something, so I don't think that's a big deal. And then I thought what I could do is um, maybe put this bag. This is a glassine bag that I coffee stained. And then it can go on here with like fabric or whatever open like this. I've done these kind of pockets before um, and sold them on my Etsy shop. And so I, just, I haven't done one in ages and thought it would be kind of fun to do one. So I think I will put that piece of um, this up here somehow. And then I'm going to move on and do the pocket for that. But I want to do this so that it'll get dry. So let me grab a paintbrush because, of course, I don't have a paintbrush handy. Because why would I do that? All right, this one will work. And I just had some, what did I do? Mod Podge. I just got these little bottles of Mod Podge at the dollar store. I usually just use glue or whatever, but I was like, eh. I mean they're only a tiny bit it's not the greatest deal in the world but it'll work so I hope everybody's having an awesome day I am having a good one my kids went to a movie with their grandma so that was very nice of her to take them to a movie I think they're gonna see Toy Story even though my kids are bigger they still they love Toy Story that was you know definitely my daughter's favorite um, my son was a little bit smaller when that was going on, so he wasn't quite as interested But because he was just a baby. But um, he, he likes it, and he's seen them all. But, yeah, so anyway. I'm just going to kind of put this on, and I didn't even end up... I could come down just a little bit more like that. I kind of like this old part up here. And I'll just tear it off once it's dry. It's easier to tear when it's dry. I like to be able to still see the bingo. A lot of times people cover up the bingo entirely. But I really like seeing the numbers and I really like seeing the bingo. But I do like to, you know, add something else to it. That's just my own personal preference. But, um, yeah. So that's fun. I'm going to let this dry, and then while it dries, we'll work on the other part. I couldn't decide what I wanted to do up there, so that's why that wasn't done already. And then I got out that tissue and was like, oh, that would be good. I'm just going to set that in there for now. All right, so I have this, which is just book page that I've cut to a size that will fit in and out of this pocket. And then this is from um, Gail Agostinelli, her receipts, um, what do you call it, Digi? Receipts and something, I can't remember what she called it, but it's fairly easy to find. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that on. I kind of laid out how I want to do this just because I knew 
this could end up taking a really long time otherwise because it's it's just a lot of um, steps and I left this glue out because that's what I do left the lid off this morning <laughs> so now it's like a big gloppy gooey mess I don't know why I have so much trouble remembering that stuff. Well, I get doing um, multiple things at once, and then something else goes on, and I go do that, and I forget to come back. So it's just, it's just me, just my life. That's what I do. Ugh, it's just gross when they're and then they sit out. Just get funky. And I'm just kind of placing it on there, however, and you can see I tore the bottom and stuff, inked it up. But if you don't um, like inking, no worries, just leave it the way it was. And, you know, if you don't sew, just glue it, glue stuff. You don't have to sew at all. And like this, I that piece of fabric I got from... Um, Denise, like I said, and she sells those in her shop. I know right now she's not very active so I, I don't know but I just know she does sell those so if you can find people that sell that kind of thing if you don't make it that works pretty well so we're gonna do something like that these are scraps from my um, mushrooms and butterflies digi so if you're interested in those papers they're in my Etsy shop and it comes with a whole a sheet of this print and then this is these are papers that my son actually made those with the mushrooms and the flowers he's my computer genius so <laughs> but he gets paid so that's kind of been his job lately is uh, helping me do these I mean, he's pretty willing to help. He likes doing stuff on the computer, but I just thought he's been dying to get a job, and he's a little young, young yet, you know, because he can't drive yet and stuff. So I told him if he helped me do the digis, I would give him some, you know, money for that. I mean, he can definitely work. He's definitely capable. It's just um, a lot of places around here will not hire you until you're 18, which I think is ridiculous because how are kids supposed to learn to work if nobody will hire them? So it's it's been hard. I mean, my daughter's been trying to get a job all summer and not having much luck at all. And she's, you know, a straight-A student, super clean-cut. You know, I it's just they just don't want to hire those kids when they're not 18, and I just think it's kind of messed up because I worked from the time I was 14 on so um, I feel like it you know it gives you a sense of responsibility and teaches you you know how to do things count change all that kind of stuff so I just do not agree with that at all I mean I understand they want the best people for the job kind of thing but I really think they're missing the boat when they don't hire these kids a little bit younger I understand my son he's a little too young because he doesn't even drive but I don't understand why they don't hire those kids that are a little bit older. They need the money for driving and stuff. Alright, so what I did is I just took a piece of book page, cut it to size to fit on here as a pocket, and this is an image that I cut, or actually tore, <laughs> out of an old book. It was... Where is that book? This activity speller. And this is from the 30s, so I just took that out of there. I just liked that image with the um, gardening, and you know, I didn't even need that piece of paper down there. I didn't realize it until I, <laughs> until I just covered it up. This is one of the tags that comes with my um, kit, the mushroom kit, and I'm just going to poke a hole in it now because, uh, as you see, and we'll know if you did, if you have gotten this one, I didn't poke the holes in a lot of these because I really think it's kind of silly because you're just going to have to do it again anyway once you print it out so a lot of times if I make the tag entirely I just leave it so that you can um, put the hole in it or not I mean you might want to just like sew fabric up there which is another thing that um, I like to do so I'm just going to ink these holes a little bit So 
so yeah, I really wish that um, my daughter could find something, because she really wants a job. She's applied all kinds of places. Most places don't even call her back, and other ones are like, you know, we won't be calling you because you're not 18, and I, I don't know. I just, I think it's kind of crazy. That's just me on my soapbox, sorry. <laughs> and then I'll probably add other tags and things, but for now I'm going to, um, let's work on this because we're going to have to. I think this, instead of doing the, um, like the Mod Podge, I'm going to just glue it on with a glue stick. But I do want to use some of that same napkin. I want it to be see-through still. So I'm just going to kind of put glue on here. Kind of a random sort of a fashion. And then I'm going to take a piece of this. And I've already removed the backing. There were two layers. Some napkins have one. Some have two of the plain white portion. And um, the best way to do that is I learned from Crafty Irina and like Gail Augustinelli and all of them do it the same way. You take a piece of like scotch tape, put it on the back, lift it, and it'll lift um, that like first layer off so that you can, um, you know, use it on your image. Because if you glue it down with those plain sheets on the back, it doesn't work right. It, it's just... It's just a mess so um, because it just comes unglued and everything and plus if you want it to be see-through you don't want you don't want all those layers and that's sort of the whole point of doing this I feel is to get that sort of see-through look and this probably won't be quite as see-through as the other one because I'm putting it on without um, getting it wet but it'll still you'll still be able to kind of see whatever's in the pocket. And then I think I'm going to add some of this, but it's not dry yet. So I think I'll let that alone. Because that's all I need to do is mess that up. We'll just take another piece. I like the pieces that have something on them. And I one of the tags I did, and I have it here, I'll show it to you. For the butterfly and mushrooms digi has uh, some of these kind of lines on it. I just like that. So, But you could also just use, you know, uh, plain bits of the tissue, the sewing tissue as well, if you don't um, want any of the black or what not on there. I kind of like this little part right here. It's got these... <laughs> Ten and seven. <laughs> random, random things, you know. I just kind of put a little over the top of that, just to get those edges to stick down, and it'll dry and be a little bit better. But then, see, this can slip in and out of here. If I can get a hold of it. And you'll be able to see, you know, the images kind of through there. So, once it's all dry. You're probably not going to be able to see a ton through this because I didn't get it wet like I did that one. So, let's let that dry. I feel like it needs something up there a little bit too. I want it to be see-through. I'm just looking at my tissue paper. I almost don't have anything different. I've got other napkins. Let me look at napkins. I got this box from Denise. She sent that napkin in there. <laughs> there. No butterflies on that one. I kind of like the want a butterfly. So I'll show you how I do this now since this one's brand new. And these ones are from the dollar store, so they're not printed on the whole thing, which is kind of a bummer. But I mean, what do you want from the dollar store, right? It's only a dollar. So scotch tape. And I just stick it on there. You gotta rub it so that's stuck pretty good. And then 
pull off the white part. And a lot of you have probably seen that before, but I, just, I, I do have a lot of new subscribers, and thank you, thank you to all of you, all of my subscribers. Um, but yeah, it's been kind of fun to talk to some of you about, you know, being new at junk journaling and things like that. And I did have a subscriber ask me, it was Nan, hi Nan, um, about using Stampin' Up! things. And I'm sorry it took me so long to answer you. I just got that message this morning. Sometimes after I've already answered one, I don't see it again unless I specifically go back and look. So I apologize for taking so long to answer that. But she was asking about using Stampin' Up! like leftovers from the paper pumpkins and things like that to use in... Um, journaling and you could totally do that I just use the envelopes and things just like you know we use the envelopes for anything in journaling you know to make pockets and tucks and flips and all that kind of stuff you can definitely use the leftovers for that and then you could use some of those um, what do you call it you know like the embellishments and whatever that they send you you could turn them into like collage little tuck spots like make a whole little collage and um, on a separate piece of paper or whatever and then turn it into like a little tuck so I definitely think you could do that without any problem at all um, I'll have to think about that and maybe I'll do a video on it or something I just have it I just got that message today and I felt bad because it took five days for me to answer you but um, I think it would definitely be a good you know, use of leftovers. I mean, totally use what you have, you know. You really don't need to go buy a bunch of stuff. I mean, I've slowly collected stuff, but, you know, I can't just buy anything I want all the time, so I definitely try to just use what I have. This is just a, a baby wipe, and I'm just kind of wiping off some of the excess glue. I just don't want all that on there. Okay, so that's as much as I'm going to do on that. I'm going to let that dry, and then I'll come back and I have a disaster here now. Are you shocked? <laughs> so let's look at this again for a minute. And this, I'm going to do fabric across the top, kind of like I've been doing with lots of things because I'm having fun with the fabric. I'm just going to cut the this extra off. And this off. So I'll probably do that, and then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. I got that kind of wrinkly. I didn't get it very smooth. I guess that's just the way it happens sometimes. It's funny how sometimes scissors don't get the edge unless you have them just right, like just the right angle. So that, that's coming off, so let's get some glue on that. You just gotta check your edges when you're decoupaging. It seems there's always little spots that don't get caught. All right, and then I'm going to glue this pocket on, which I just love. Love the colors of it. Love it with this kit of mine. I do also have a digi, and I mentioned it to uh, the subby that was talking about not having old pages or whatever. I did a video uh, about, um, you know, junk journals and stuff like that. I have a kit that's called Old Paper, too, and I'm going to put a piece of it on the back of that. That can also be used. So, but there's lots of digi kits, you know, that have, like, old-looking paper and stuff. So, yeah, mine's definitely not not the only one. I just cut this little beetle out. I don't even remember where I got him. It was in my um, junk, so I apologize that I don't know where I got him. But he's kind of cute with this stuff. So I'm just going to glue him up there. And then this is um, one of the mushrooms for my kid. I just cut it out. Plus he cut it. Add it on there. That like there, I think. Let's go over this way just a little bit more. And then I have 
This is this is the um, sewing pattern paper on here with the lines and the dots. So yeah, which is kind of like up here. So I'm going to put that on some book page or something. Actually, I got this. This is tea stained, tea dyed, however you want to say it, paper. I just did this the other day. This was a really fun digi kit to make. I love mushrooms, and I found that book on, uh, I think it's from 1897 or something like that, on um, Biodiversity Heritage Library and just had so many cool mushroom images on there. Old, old ones. Well, obviously, 1897. <laughs> That's old. And what I did with all my good scissors, I'm using these. These are not my fabric scissors, though. <laughs> Which I have been known to almost do, but I usually catch myself because I put a big, like, metal ring thing on them <laughs> to try to keep my family from using them for other things because if anybody sees a pair of scissors around here, they go away and they don't come back in the same condition. So yeah, I try to make it super obvious, right all over them and everything. Not that that always works, but. And I'll stitch around these tags too, in the end. So that looks cool, I like that paper on there. And so this can go in here. And what I think I'll do is put a little fabric on the top of that one too. All right, and I can put something through this hole if I can find something. Oh, this would work. Oh yeah, it's got that gold and blue and all of that. This piece at the top is kind of weird. I don't know if these are even going to cut this. They're uh, not fabric scissors. If you use them all the way at the back, they work. <laughs> if I just clean up my mess and keep it cleaned up, but I can't. I clean it up and then I start making a new one. So, oops, I kind of cut that too short, didn't I? Let's see, can we even get this through here? We're going to try. It's a little short, huh? Maybe I'll put another one in there. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go stitch some fabric at the top of this and the top of this. And then I will come back and hopefully our bag will be dry enough that I can hook it on as well. Because I may want to use some fabric, but I'll probably glue that on. So yeah, I'm going to go do some stitching and I'll be right back. Okay, hi everybody, I'm back. So I stitched around this tag. I put a longer um, piece of fabric on there and then stitched fabric up here and stitched fabric here. So yeah, I think those look pretty good. Let's see this. Maybe I want the shorter one in here. So you can see that butterfly. This one can go here. And that will go inside of this. Let's cut... Um, the extra napkin off of this now. Okay. And then this will go in here. So, and that will go on there, and we need, we should have, we have a butterfly, don't we, because there's a butterfly, but we could put a mushroom on there, we could put this funky, crazy looking mushroom on there. Hmm. I really kind of just like that one. So I think I'll put that on there. I might put a little, let's put some, 
I can find any cheesecloth underneath. And I keep forgetting to coffee stain some of this, so I keep having to ink it. <laughs> That's what happens when you're dingy. I just did all that tea staining the other day, too, and you think I remember to throw some of this in there, but nope. So yeah, this is nothing new, but it was kind of fun doing it again because I haven't um, done one of these in a while. Alright, see, I left my glue open, so now it's stuck because I'm good at that. And I'm just putting uh, liquid because it just tends to hold this a little bit better. That'll go about there. trim some of that. doesn't need to be quite like that long. The scissors. I do want a little bit of glue under there though. Just to keep it under some control. Okay. I'm going to glue along here, that's my fold for the putting over the side, and I'm going to go right to the edge and leave a little bit without glue just so there's a little more give. I don't want it to be so like tight and restraining that if you put stuff in that pocket it's going to, um, you know, not you're not going to be able to close it or something great like that. So, and I'm going to leave a little space in here, just a little, so that, um, Again, it's kind of like the gusset thing. I can see <laughs> what I'm doing because I don't want it crooked. Yeah, so that way I've got a little gusset. Ah, these mushrooms are all coming with me. And I may end up putting like some fabric or a piece of ribbon or something along there. And I'm going to put a little glue on that gusset just so it um, isn't flapping around and getting caught on stuff because nobody likes a gusset that gets caught on stuff right <laughs> okay gussets you gotta watch out for those okay and I may make some more um, tags and things to go in but I don't think I need to um, torture you guys any longer I just wanted to show you what I was working on have you come craft along with me so I hope you guys have an awesome day. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Um, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye now.